How to insert footnotes and endnotes in Word 365. Hi everyone, Deborah here, and I'm going to demonstrate how to create a footnote in a Word 365 document. On my screen I have a document that's pretty basic. It just has some paragraphs in it. As I go through these paragraphs, you can notice that at the bottom of each page and at the top of each page, there's nothing there. Okay, the margins are clean. So a footnote can be put anywhere in a Word document. So right now I'm going to click right here. Let's say that I want to give the reader extra information about the American River Cycling Club, but I don't necessarily want to include it here in this paragraph. I want it to just be a footnote. Okay, So I make sure that my flashing insertion point is where I want the footnote to go. Then I go up to my ribbon and you might think that a footnote might be found on the insert tab, but it isn't. It's found here on the references tab. Okay, The references tab is where you go to find things like how to do an automatic table of contents or bibliography, that kind of thing. So there's a whole group called footnotes. And in that group, you can create footnotes and endnotes. I'm going to show you how to do an endnote as well. But first, let's go here to insert footnote. And notice that, of course, you already know this, that when you hover your mouse over one of the menu items, it will bring out a little screen tip that gives you an explanation of what the tool does. OK, I'm just going to go ahead and click Insert Footnote. And it instantly pushes the page down to the bottom. Look at the margin down here. It has created the footnote area and it placed the uh, flashing insertion point here so that I can just start typing. And um, let's see, I'm just going to make a note about this. Okay, so this is my footnote, and if I scroll back up the page, notice that now there is a tiny little superscript number one where I had my flashing insertion point, and if I hover my mouse over that, it pops out a little screen tip showing me what the footnote says. And so that little one, of course, as you are reading a, a document like this, when you see a number like that, that should indicate to you that there is more information about that particular, that word or this phrase at the bottom of the page. So you can go down and look, and there's the number one. Now, if I want to put a second footnote on the same page, I can do that, and it'll automatically uh, give it the number two. Let's say I want to put the next one here. Okay, so I click here, I click Insert Footnote, and notice that it instantly goes below the first one. There's a number two to show you that that one is indicated. And if you go back up here, there's your number two. And if I hover over it, there's just a blank screen tip that comes out because I haven't typed anything yet. So that's how you make footnotes, and you can put as many as you need. Most of the time, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend putting more than two on one page, actually, if you can avoid it. Okay, let's talk about end notes. Sometimes you want to put a footnote, but you don't want it at the bottom of the page. You may want it at the end of the entire document. That's what the difference is between a footnote and an end note. So uh, let's see, I'm going to scroll down into the next page and I'm going to place a, uh, an end note. Let's say I want to put the end note here at the end of this subtitle. Comparing heart rate values with others. Okay, so now that my flashing insertion point is where I want it, I go back up to the footnotes group and I click insert end note. And notice that it didn't push me down to the bottom of that one page, it took me to the bottom of the entire document. And it gave, instead of a number, it's giving me uh, the lowercase i. Okay, So it's more like an outline form. So now what I can do is go back to where I placed 
the end note, okay? And I can, so what I need to do is go to the bottom of the document where the end note is located. Uh, if necessary, if the flashing insertion point isn't there, I can click right there to bring it and um, I can type my end note. Okay, so there's my end note. And just like the footnotes, if you hover your mouse over the end note indicator here, it of course gives you the screen tip that shows what I typed for the end note. And end notes can go anywhere in a document and they will always show up at the bottom of the last page of that document. And if I go to, a, to do another end note, it'll go below this one and it'll have two lowercase i's to indicate a number two. So that's how you do end notes. That's how you do footnotes. If you have any questions, please email me and I'll be happy to help you.